Life's busy and time is at a premium, but that doesn't mean you need to give up on eating the food you love with the people you love. Now, tonight I'm here to help with some brilliant ideas to help save time and eat better food. From a great afternoon tea to the world's fastest mashed potato, first up, right here on the barbecue, I'm going to show you how to cook a roast chook in half the time. A two kilo family sized chicken like this would normally take about an hour and a half or an hour and 40 minutes in a moderate oven. You can cut that in half. More on the chicken in just a minute. First up, a quick marinade. Grab yourself a blender. You'll need half a bunch of mint leaves and a generous splash of fish sauce, some cumin, some cardamom, and a good glug of extra virgin olive oil. But what makes this marinade fresh and exciting is the zest and juice of three limes and a little bit of chilli. Now, I'm using green chilies. They're not as sweet as a red chilli, but I reckon the flavour's more interesting. I'm going to get rid of the seeds so it's not too hot. Oh, and don't forget, those little white ribs that go down the side of the chilli, get rid of them. They're actually even hotter than the seeds. And then it's time to let the blender do what it does best. Puree this up until it's good and smooth. Oh, smells great. That's our marinade done. But what about the chicken? You probably know that butterflying a chicken reduces its cooking time. You just use a sharp pair of scissors to remove the backbone. But did you know that immersing it in a marinade like this with the salty fish sauce also works to reduce cooking time? That's because the salt kind of starts curing the meat, which is a great little trick. So far, so good. But my real time saving happens here on the barbecue with a little bit of DIY cooking. Put the barbecue flat plate onto medium low then pop on one of these non-stick barbecue liners. Let's help make sure that the chicken doesn't stick. Pop the chicken on skin side down and then you want to cover it with some non-stick paper and a little bit of tin foil. That's not to insulate it, it's actually to protect it from my next secret ingredient. Now, Besser blocks aren't the prettiest thing in the world. Jason, get out of my story. <laughs> yep, it's a good old nine kilo all Australian Besser block. You don't actually eat it. It goes on top of the chicken. I know what you're thinking. Has he gone crazy? No, not at all. In fact, this is scientific brilliance. You see, the weight of the brick presses the chicken meat together really close, which means the heat coming from underneath is even more efficient and it'll cook in about half the time. Seriously, 20 minutes on the skin side, 20 minutes on the other side, and it's going to be done. And best of all, because you've reduced the cooking time, it actually comes out juicier and even more tender. See how we're going. By the way, this is why I use a Besser block, because even after it's been cooking on the barbecue for 40 minutes, it's not too hot to lift off. Come on, huh? As for the chicken, oh, that is a perfect roast chicken. Now, you'll know it's done when the juices will run clear if you pierce it at the hip. That is absolutely spot on. It's succulent, juicy, absolutely amazing, that marinade. Wow. A bit of your favourite salad and pop some bread on the table, everyone's going to be happy. It's everybody's favourite dinner, ready in half the time.